and this is regarding the ongoing Maratha Kota protest that has turned violent. These are shots that we're getting you in from the city of Aurangabad, where protesters have vandalized a vehicle. In a very clear sign of these agitations further intensifying, we have with us our correspondent Herman with further inputs here on this. Herman, it seems to be getting out of control with this protest now intensifying and turning violent as well. Well, that's right. In fact, uh, in fact, you had uh, the Maratha leaders there, a few of them from the community, who not just attacked the bus, but they also decided to break it down and then set it on fire. Miraculously, there has been no, uh, there were no passengers, so therefore no injuries or casualties, but clearly putting multiple lives at risk. Uh, we've been speaking, in fact, to a number of uh, Maratha organizations here. What they're saying is that in the past, they did have peaceful uh, protests, but enough is enough. And the government did not, um, uh, did not, uh, did not uh, heed to their promises. They will decide to take matters into their own hands to ensure that the law and order situation does not further worsen. Even as I speak to you, in fact, the internet services here in Aurangabad have been suspended for now in the fear that uh, fake messages could be sent around. So for now, the internet services have not been restored. And at the same time, Maratha organizations have threatened the Devendra Fadnavis led government saying that unless, the protest, unless their promises are not met, uh, things could further turn violent. Right. And this is, uh, once again, with respect to promises that have not been met with, we've seen similar such agitations by farmers as well, accusing the chief minister of not keeping his promise. This is a promise that he'd made on this issue to the Maratha community as well for reservations that the state government would be giving, but none of it showing on ground. 